Hey guys, and welcome to the Tech, Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be looking at today is a, it's an easier way of doing long division. I'm going to launch straight into it. This is probably going to take a couple of videos to uh, get through. I'm going to sort of deal with it in sections. I'm going to deal with the, you know, obviously getting into the easy stuff first, and then more and more difficult as we go along. So. First off, I'm just going to launch straight into what I mean by these, and it's this sort of question here which we're going to be having a look at. So, how many times does 19 go into 42,016? So there's a couple of things that I'm going to draw your attention to just before we start this particular question, because once you get the idea of these, the rest of this and how to divide by these certain certain numbers here, are big numbers, you know, bigger than 10 becomes a whole lot easier once you get just a few little tricks because this is just a little bit of a different way of doing normal division okay so first off the first thing you'll probably want to notice with this is that 19 I'm going to rub that 19 out and I'm going to put it over here 19 because what we're actually going to be looking at is a number which comes up next after 19 which is 20 okay so the, the nearest tens number to this particular a number here, okay, is 20. How much do we have to get to to actually do that? Because we have to add one number on. So we've got two things which is really, really important to get here. First off, we're actually going to be dividing by the number 2, not 19. The other thing is this idea of this number here. This, this is this thing called, we're going to call it a multiplier. Okay, and this thing, um, when we're dealing with number 19 and it's a multiplier of 1 the 1 times a number it just gives us the number we've already got um, but this thing becomes more important especially when we start dividing by different sorts of numbers 18, 17 we start to get different multipliers and they start to do slightly different things don't get too confused yet okay so I'm just going to start off in how to do this now this is a bit of a weird type of division because the actual answer we, we're, we're getting helps get further parts of the answer and you'll see what I mean by this so first off this part here, we're going to start off here, and what we're going to be looking at is this particular one. What we're going to go is like normal division, 4 divided by 2. Okay, what's 4 divided by 2? That's 2. There's no remainder there. Nice and easy. Okay, so let's get to the next part here. Okay, so this bit here, we've got a 2. Now, as I said before, we're going to have to use part of our answer we've already got to get our next part of the answer, okay? And I'll show you, this is where we start to mean this, uh, where we start to use this here. What we do here is we actually add this 2 to this multiplier, uh, to the multiplier times this number here. I'll show you what I mean. So this is like 2, we're going to add to this, we're going to add this number here, this 2, so 2 plus this number here times the multiplier. The multiplier is 1, so we're going to add 2 plus 2, which equals 4, and this is the number we're going to see how many times 2 goes into it. Bear with us with this. It, it does take a bit of getting used to it, but once you, once you get used to it, it's not too bad. So 4 divided by 2 equals 2. All right, the next part of our answer is a 2. All right, no, nothing to be carried over. We'll get to this next bit of the answer again. So we've got a 0. Now this 0, we have to add something to. It's if you remember, it's this number we got previously, this 2, and we're going to multiply this 2 by the multiplier, so by 1. Okay, so 2 times 1 is 2, so nothing plus 2 equals 2. 2 divided by 2, now, equals 1. That's the next part of our answer. Okay, we're going to get up to this, uh, this part. Okay, so we've got the 1 here. Now, <laughs> So what do we do? If you remember, 1, and we're going to add to that this 1 here times the multiplier. So 1 times 1, 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 equals 2. 2 now divided by the 2 here equals 1. That's that part of our answer. So this is our answer is so far 2,211. Now this leads us to the very last number here. Now the last number here, I'm going to draw a bit of a line here because this is actually our remainder that we get now. Okay, so what are we going to get for our remainder? Well, so the remainder here, we've got 6. And what do we need to do to that 6? Well, we need to add this number here, the 1. So 6 plus 1 is 7. This is our remainder. Remainder 7. That's our answer. Pretty cool, right? 
really I recommend trying to go through that again go through it a bit slowly and that sort of deal but it works okay you're just going to keep using that previous number okay so I'm going to give another go using 19 here then what I'm going to do on the next video I'll do I'm actually going to start varying up this number and showing you what happens when we use different multipliers but once you get used to this and it doesn't take very long because it's the same process again and again it's a really 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 great fast method of doing uh, long division so Let's, let's get on to this next question here. So say we'll have a look at 19 again. How many times does 19 go into, uh, say, even a bigger number now, 28,104? Okay. So, again, I'll move this 19 up here. Okay. And because what I'm going to do is if I add 1 to it, again, my uh, multiplier here, I'm going to end up getting... 20, okay, but it's going to be the 2 I'm going to be dividing into it. This again is my multiplier. Okay. And I think that's probably one of the big things again, that, that which one's a multiplier and one's thing worked out. This one's a little bit harder than our previous one. So let's start out here. We start with this number here. Uh, so 2 and we're dividing, just so you, I'll highlight it again, we're dividing this number into it, the 2. So 2 Divided by 2 equals 1. Yeah, good. Nice, easy start. All right. All right. Let's get on to the next one. So I'll rub that out. And we'll get on to this next number here. Okay. This is an 8. So if you remember, what do I do to this 8? Well, I've got to add this number on here. Okay. And then times that by the multiplier. So 1 times the multiplier. 1 times 1 is 1. And I'm going to add it to 8. So... 8 plus 1 equals 9. Now this 9 I divide by 2. So 9 divided by 2 equals 4. We've got a remainder of 1. So what I'm going to do with this 1 is I'm going to take it across to the next part of the question. Okay? And I'm going to put the 4 down here. Alright. Let's get on to this next bit. Now this remainder here, you see here, we will be using that now. Um, in fact, we're going to use it right now because it doesn't give us a 1 because we have to move the 1 across. We've actually got an 11. Okay, an 11, what are we going to do with that? We're going to add 4 times the <laughs> multiply, which is 4. So, let's add 4 to it and we get 15. Alright, we get this 15. Now we divide it by 2 and it equals 7, remainder 1. Okay, so 7, remainder 1. Alright, and we'll get on to this last number before the remainder. Okay, but remember this last number here is the remainder. So we go here 10 plus 7. Okay, 7 times 1 is 7, equals 17. Okay, 17 now divided by 2 equals 8 remainder of 1. So, remainder of 1 there. Okay. And this now just leaves us to work out what the remainder is, okay? We've got most of our answer there. We're just now left working at the remainder, and that's a very, very simple matter here. So we're getting at 14. And we add this 8 to it, which we're times by the uh, multiply, which also is 8. So 14 plus 8 equals 22. Okay. Now what you're going to notice about this 22 is we have a remainder of 22, but this remainder we have is bigger than the number we're actually dividing by. So we can get a 19 out of this. If I take 19 out of it, I get the answer of 3. So we're going to end up with a remainder of 3. And that one 19 I've got out of it, I'm just going to get rid of that 8 here, and I'm going to add it on here. Okay. So our answer should be 1479 remainder 3. Okay, so I hope you understand those. The next video we're going to be getting on with, we're going to be looking at this a little bit further. We're going to start getting into the numbers where we just, uh, we're going to change mainly these numbers around to start with, and then we're going to get into the video afterwards where we start to change the multipliers, okay? But I think small steps when you start doing these. So, any questions, let us know. I hope you go fine on those. I'll see you next time.